एलेवेंथ क्लास हम आपकी इंग्लिश सप्लीमेंट्री इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक एन एलियन हैंड के फोर्थ लेसन द को द कॉप एंड द एंथम के हाफ पार्ट की रीडिंग करेंगे हाफ जो फर्स्ट हाफ है वो हमने पिछली वीडियो में पढ़ा है तो सोपी ट्राइज इज लक ट्वाइस अगेन बट कॉप्स रिमेन इन डिफरेंट एज एवर सोपी सडनली रिमाइंडेड ऑफ इज चाइल्ड हुड होम एंड मदर एंड रिजॉल्व टू टर्न ओवर ए न्यू लीव फीलिंग ए हैंड ऑन इज आर्म सोपी टर्न अराउंड टू सी द ब्रॉड फेस ऑफ ए कॉप देन ही केम टू अनदर कॉप स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ ए बिग थिएटर ही थॉट ऑफ समथिंग एल्स टू ट्राई ही बिगेन टू शाउट एज इफ ही हैड टू मच टू ड्रिंक हिज वॉइस वॉज एज लाउड एज ही कुड मेक इट ही डांसड ही क्राइड आउट एंड कॉप टर्न हिज बैक टू सोपी एंड सेट टू ए मैन स्टैंडिंग नियर हिम इट इज़ वन ऑफ दोज कॉलेज बॉयज ही वोंट हर्ट एनी थिंग वी हैव ऑर्डर्स टू लेट दैम शाउट सोपी वॉज क्वाइट वॉज नो कॉप गोइंग टू टच हिम ही बिगेन टू थिंक ऑफ द आईलैंड एज इफ इट वर एज फार अवे एज ए स्टार ही पुल्ड हिज थिन कोट अराउंड हिम द विंड वॉज वेरी कोल्ड then he saw a man in a shop buying a newspaper the man's umbrella stood beside the door so he stepped inside the shop took the umbrella and walked slowly away the man followed him quickly my umbrella he said who oh, is it said sopi why don't you call a cop i took it your umbrella why don't you call a cop there is one standing at the corner the man walked more slowly sopi did the same but He had a feeling that he was going to fail again. The cop looked at the two men. I said, "The umbrella man. That is, you know how these things happen. If that's your umbrella, I am very sorry. I found it this morning in a restaurant. If you say it's yours, I hope you will. It's mine!" cried Sopi with anger. With anger in his voice, the umbrella man hurried away. The cop helped the lady. Across the street, Sopi walked east. He threw the umbrella as far as he could throw it. He talked to himself about cops and what he thought of them. Because he wished to be uh, arrested, they seemed to believe he was like a king who could do no wrong. At last, Sopi came to one of the quiet streets on the side of the city. He turned here and began to walk south toward Madison Square. He was going home although home was only a seat in a park but at a very quiet corner Sophie stopped here was his old childhood home through one window he could see a soft light shining that had been his living room where he had spent many happy peaceful moments sweet music came to Sophie's ears and seemed to hold him there The moon was above peaceful and bright there were few people passing he could hear birds high above him and the music that came from the room held sopi there for he had known it well long ago in those days his life contained such things as mothers and flowers and high hopes and friends and clean thoughts and clean clothes there was a sudden and wonderful change in his soul He saw with sick fear how he had fallen. He saw his worthless days, his wrong desires, his dead, dead hopes, the lost power of his mind, and also in a moment his heart answered this change in his soul. He would fight to change his life. He would pull himself up out of the mud. He would make a man of himself again. There was time he was young enough he would find his old purpose in life and follow it that sweet music had changed him tomorrow he would find work a man had once offered him a job he would find that man tomorrow he would be somebody in the world he would so he felt a hand on his arm he looked quite quickly around into the broad face of a cop what are you doing hanging around here asked the cop Nothing," said Sopi. "You think I believe that?" said the cop. Full of his new strength, Sopi began to argue, and it is not wise to argue with a New York cop. "Come along," said the cop. Three months prison on Blackwell's Island," said the judge to Sopi. Next morning. So.
आप ध्यान से सुनिए पढ़िए लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग